bags every day. Hustle a hundred different ways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm in my bag for real. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be cooking with you guys. I am using zucchini noodles for the first time. Also, I got this shrimp from Aldi's. They are huge. Like they are so big. I cut mine in half because I can't, like if I eat a whole one, it just makes me so full. So I'm just going to cut them in half. And there you go. So I'm gonna be taking some garlic powder and I'm just gonna be putting it all over the shrimp. Make sure it's garlic powder and not garlic salt. Cause you don't wanna kill your man. If you cooking for him, you know how I feel about salt. Salt can kill your man if you didn't know. The reason for that is because gates, this gate seasoning is, y'all, okay? This gate seasoning is real life. It's just bomb. It has salt in it, so that's why I'm like, make sure all your other seasonings don't have salt in it too, okay? So I'm taking some basil leaves. I'm also going to put that in there. Yo, I don't be measuring when I cook, okay? Real cooks don't measure, okay? We just dump and go. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm also taking some Italian seasoning, which it just has like rosemary in it, thyme in it. It's just like a mixture of just Italian seasonings and stuff like that. And I'm just going to throw it in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some parsley. I like to add parsley, not necessarily for the flavor, but for the color. Okay. I like my food to look pretty. If your food don't look pretty, it don't make you want to eat it. And if it don't look pretty, then you probably shouldn't be eating it because it's probably bad for you. It's probably processed. So I'm also going to be taking some olive oil. You know, I'm just going to drizzle on my pan real quick. And I'm going to take the zucchini noodles. Now, I was really nervous about this because I ain't never cooked zucchini noodles. But the direction said, all you have to do is take it out the box, frozen, put it in a skillet like this, and put the lid over it and let it cook on medium and just let it pretty much like melt like the, get the water to melt a little bit defrost sorry <laughs> so that's pretty much what happened but i was so nervous i'm like oh my god i don't want to overcook them i don't want them to be soggy i did pretty good though like you just have to watch it you know like after it defrosts or the ice melts or whatever just take it off the eye like turn the eye off like i don't even think the eye is on right now and then i'm going to drain all that water you see that's a lot of water we don't want that okay we don't want that we, we don't want that next i'm going to be using some more uh, olive oil <laughs> let me get my fats in okay and then I use the sweet peppers orange and yellow and I'm just gonna dump them in there or whatever this was burning me though like I think I had the eye up too high y'all so make sure you turn it down okay don't be burning yourself like I did now I'm gonna dump the shrimp in there look at the shrimp just looking beautiful just gorgeous. This is why I love to cook. Okay. I love to cook. I just love it. I just love when you create something so fire. My brother loved this dish and he is not a healthy eater. Okay. This man don't like eating vegetables. He like eating processed foods. 24 7 so when he said this was delicious i believed him okay because he don't do vegetables he don't do healthy he don't do healthy so that's what i'm here for i'm here to convince y'all to change y'all's diet out here in these streets and to do it in a very flavorful way flavorful so that's what I'm doing. This is I'm teaching y'all how to eat healthy but eat good at the same time. So this is what the shrimp is looking like. I have it on like 
medium to low because I don't like overcooking my shrimp. When you overcook your shrimp, it's hard and it's nasty, okay? And it's dried out. It's not good. So, shrimp don't take that long to cook, okay? Shrimp don't take long to cook. So, don't overcook your shrimp. I'm going to put the top one, put it back on uh, low, and put it in the bag. So, now I'm taking my Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Say it with me. Alfredo sauce. And I'm going to put it in my little pot right there. Non-sticking pot. Make sure it's a non-sticking pot. And then I filled up the jars with water halfway, swished it around a little bit. You know how the cooks do it. And then I poured it in there. And that helps with the sauce not being too thick. Because Alfredo sauce can get pretty thick fast. So mix a little water in there. Fill the jars halfway. Mix a little water in there. And then I'm going to thicken it up a little bit. I like to put cheese in mine. Okay, Italian cheese in your because it's fire okay it's just gonna make my alfredo like warm y'all if you've never done this you've never put cheese in your sauce what is you doing i'm gonna put the top one i'm gonna let it melt and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna add the noodles make sure you don't get any of the extra water in there if you can okay you just want the noodles and the noodles worked so well, y'all. Like, I was impressed. I was really impressed. Because, like I said, I've never used zucchini noodles before. I was so worried about them being soggy and overcooked. But they were perfect. So, pretty much with these noodles that I got from Trader Joe's, all you have to do is defrost them in the skillet like I did, drain them, and then you're good to go. Like, it's literally that simple. And when I was cooking them, I cooked them on medium the entire time. Okay? So y'all see that? Y'all see the cheese? The, you see the goodness in there? Look at that. That's love. Mm. Look at it. Mm. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp and my peppers. Look at that. Look at that. See, I cook like somebody's grandma out here. I cook with love. Okay with love you can't find that anywhere just anywhere okay nowadays especially because a lot of these females can't cook but that's none of my business so now we're just gonna mix it all up and that is pretty much it you guys simple y'all probably took me like 30 minutes to do this like it was very simple it was quick and it was easy thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it thumbs up for more cooking videos and can't wait to see you in my next one bye Got on my knees and I pray to God that I cannot take no more losses. So I need your hand for real and protect me with your crosses. Cause I need that mansion still and I want some forge your wheels. Now my shit hard as hell. They think I not signed a deal. I told my kids, your mama good, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. I told my team we go to the top and that's with a capital T. Yeah.